I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Race to the Treasure by Peaceable Kingdom. It's ages five and up, two to four players, and it takes 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to construct a path, picking up three keys along the way, and getting all the way down to the treasure before this gets filled up with ogres, because if they get to end first, then they will have beaten you to the treasure and won the game. For game setup, you start by rolling these dice and your child will learn how to read a grid. And they will go to F1 for this and place their first key. And you roll until you have placed all of four of your keys and you have placed the ogre snack as well. So we'll just go ahead and say this ends up at B3 and this ends up at A4. Uh, you are now done with these dice. You will not use them again until you set up for your next game. And you start by having the first player, whoever you wanna have be first player, draw, you shuffle up these cards and place them to the side. And then on their turn, the first player draws a card. And if it's a path card, you start in the start spot. And you may orient it however you like to start. You work as a group, place the tile, and then it's the next person's turn. And they draw one tile and will place it. If the tile is an ogre card, it gets placed here. That is it for your turn. And it is the next player's turn. So then it's the next person's turn. They draw a tile. They may choose to place it however they want as long as it adjoins to a previous place tile and has an open path next to it. You can't place it here or down here to be planning for the future or something. You must play it again uh, next to an open spot on the path. Uh, that said, there can be multiple paths going at the same time. So you can have it go off and be a dead end off to the side or um, have two going simultaneously, but you need to use these uh, as best as you can to quickly collect the three keys. You only need to collect three and uh, get your path all the way to here before the ogres get there. Here's what it looks like to collect a key. Uh, I'm doing playing these one at a time. That's one person's turn. I'm just going quickly through turns. So it's the next person's turn. They place this. And then this is how you collect a key. You have to actually place the path piece on the key spot. And then you can place it down below in the three spots for a key. And then it's the next player's turn. Ooh, they got an ogre. Um, when you collect the ogre snack, you place it off to the side and then as a group, you decide when you use it, it doesn't take a turn or anything like that. It's just, if it's getting a little later or you're worried about how many ogres you have out here, you can take an ogre that's already been placed. And so if somebody has placed an ogre this turn, they say, you know what, let's go ahead and get rid of an ogre. You can give this ogre a snack and then the ogre and this gets taken off to the side. This doesn't go back into the deck of cards and that is your one time use for this. So it's sometimes you won't even collect it in the game, but if it is convenient to collect it, you might because that can be a help to um, lure at least one ogre away from the path to the treasure. Here's what the end of a game might look like. As you can see, we've collected three of the four keys. We didn't even bother going over and get this one because there is no incentive to do so. It does not matter. Uh, this ogre has been taken out with an ogre snack. So it's the next person's turn. They draw and at this point they're trying to get to this spot. So if they place this here, they will never be able to get to that spot. So you can uh, um, place it on a different part of your path, which is a bummer because it's not advancing you to the end, but it's also not blocking you. So that just happens sometimes, no big deal. Next person's turn, they draw this path piece looking good. Oh no, an ogre, who will get, if there's another ogre and they go here, then they've won the game. And they drew this and the rules say, as soon as a path piece is placed in the end spot, uh, then you have won the game. It does not matter. It is perhaps more fulfilling 
if you get a piece like this and it's aiming directly at the treasure you're trying to go to, but this is still a win and is allowed. So if this happens, then hooray, you've won the game. So that's how to play Race to the Treasure. If you have more than one child, cooperative games can be a lifesaver when it comes to family game night, and this is one of our favorites. So check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother. Mm -hmm.